Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to class. So in today's class, I will be teaching you how to take accurate body measurement. So stay right back. Okay, welcome back to class and I will be using her as my manicure. So I'm going to take a body measurement to show you how to take accurate body measurements. So I'll be tying this around the waist. And the reason is the front half length is different from the back half length. So as you watch for that, you're going to understand what I'm trying to say. Firstly, I'll be taking a shoulder measurement like this a shoulder measurement is 16 so you place the tape around a shoulder or if for, to be on the silver side just check where the the joint is here then place your start your measurement from there and the other hand here so what i have here is 13 so after that i'll take around bust you place your tape around a bust like this then you measure so around bust is 35 this is a 35 so it's all the time means if you want the clothes to be free to be firm so you can also try to loosen it up a bit but this is an accurate body measurement which is 35 so from there you place your shoulder here your tape sorry your tape on our shoulder like this our chest line is seven from shoulder to chest uh, chest line is seven our bust point that is where the nipple is is 11. so shoulder to bust point 11. then our under bust here our under bust is 14. Our under bust is 14. Why our half length is 16? Our half length is 16. That is where you're tying the tape through. The half length. Please make sure you're tying it firm. So it's 16. So after that, you measure the round bust. Round under bust. That is UB. You measure the round under bust like this. Our run on that bus is 27 and a half, 27.5. So this is a run on that bus. Yeah, that is under the bus, run on that bus. So after that, you measure our waist. That is where you're tying the tape through. You measure our waist. Our waist is um, 27. Our waist is 27. So over there, just turn your back. Shoulder to shoulder to back that is the half length for the back what i have there is 14. so you can see that the front from your shoulder the front from your shoulder to your half length for the front was 16. why from the back is 14. so we have a difference of two so i'm going to tell you how to go further from that so we have 14 from the back so the next thing we are going to do is to measure our, our sleeve length the sleeve length we have here you start from where the tape will stop from the shoulder then you place your measurements your tape sorry your tape like this then you measure what we have here is 20 our sleeve length that is long sleeve is 20. why from from shoulder to our, uh, elbow is 12. then the half length we have, your, the short sleeve we have here is seven. If you want it a bit longer, you can use eight. That will measure a round sleeve. A round sleeve like this. That is where you stop. This, what we're having here is, is 10. What we're having here is also 10. And what we're having here is seven and a half for a round sleeve. Now, if you want to measure your skirt, so if you're placing, if you're this type that puts your skirt on, on the waist like this, 
So you start from where you keep your skirt, then you measure down to where or how long you want your skirt to be, like this. If you want it above new, like this, this is 21. If you want it on the new, this is 22. And if you want it below new, this is 24. If you want it below new, depending on how long you want your skirt or how short you want your skirt to be. And if you want a long skirt like this, you measure it like this down to an ankle or rather how long you want it to be, then you take your measurement and that is for the skirt. So from that same waist to your hip, where your hip is, as is nine, like from your waist to your hip. So where to place your hip is, sorry, as is eight. For, so from the waist down to our hip is eight. So we have eight here. So this is it. So that is how to take a proper measurement. And don't forget, you can also take a, if you want to take a round hip, if you want to measure the hip. So we have this. So you have to adjust the tape rule like this you drag it up so make sure that there is a movement and you also drag it down so as is 34 so our hip is 34 and that is all for today's class on how to take a accurate how to take a accurate body measurement and thanks for watching today's tutorial so see you bye